Hello everyone, Cannon Boom. Um, and I'm here with a video on how to make a Left 4 Dead 2 map. Anyway, and let's get into it. So first you want to go to Steam. Uh, right click on Left 4 Dead 2. Go to Manage, Browse Local Files. Uh, file. Go to Bin. Scroll down. Hammer.exe file new and then bam we have a file we have blocks so this is the selection tool yeah selection tool and you can select stuff obviously and this is the magnify you probably won't use this too much I don't so um, and then the camera. I'm not actually sure what that does. Uh, okay. Then we have the entity tool. This spawns entities such as survivors and such. And the block tool. We're gonna focus on this one today because well, we're making a map, right? So this is the this is the grid. The squares are the grid, and it snaps on there, as you can see. But if we set this down over here, to the small, smaller grid and larger grid, if we click this smaller grid, at the bottom right, it goes down, and we can select more than that. Also, my mouse is kind of <laughs> really bad, so yeah. So if we go down to one on, on this, it we can like basically free that's not one. Uh it's basically free. Uh so we'll back we'll go back to uh let's do thirty two for this tutorial. Where is it? Oh, never mind. Uh it's over here. Uh yeah, this one. Okay, so we're just gonna make a little box. So, so get your tool, get your block tool, and then just create a little square. And then over here, in the textures, there's all these textures, all these, so many. But down here in the filter, we're gonna type in dev. Scroll down, and you should see dev underscore me measure generic zero one, and the one right next to it, the gray one. We're gonna get, we're gonna get the gray one, and we're gonna hit enter, and there we go. It creates a block that we can use for a walking area, and. We're gonna add the survivors now. So, entity tool. And it should already have the survivor underscore position in there at the, at start. But if it's not, just type in info underscore survival, uh, survivor position. And then just place like this. It doesn't really matter where you place them. Um, just place them wherever you like. I like to place them next to next to each other though. Just looks nicer, you know. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we have them. I'm gonna raise them up a little bit because they can get stuck in the floor. So I'm going to the smaller grid over here. Hey, um, a future boom here. Uh, I actually forgot to say that you need a info underscore player underscore start, as this uh, picture shows. Um, so place that near your people, people preferably, and that should be good. Uh, you should be able to start there instead of under the ground. Okay, that's it. Bye. I'm gonna change that down to eight. I'm gonna go one. Then going back to thirty-two. Okay. 
Now, uh, zoom out. We're gonna go browse. Then we're gonna use this one right here. And then we're just gonna do that. Uh, so, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. So this is a top-down view. This is. So this is the top down. This is the side. This 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 side might 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 actually be on this side. This is um they might be switched. Uh this is the behind view, I'm pretty sure. And yeah. Okay, so we have our block now. Just uh Matt, just make it connect with the floor. And then you want to go raise it. Uh, raise it. We'll do, we'll do a pretty big one. You can do whatever you want, but you know. And then you can click off to the side or over here in the black areas. Then you can click it again. So it basically copies the whole shape. And then you do this, you make another one, you press enter, and then do that again, press enter, and then press enter. And then what I like to do is go over here, hold down the left mouse button, and hold down shift, and then drag it up. I accidentally created two, whoops. And then drag it up. And then in the top down, drag it over here so it's not uh, inside of the walls. And then we have a little room. I'm gonna spread these out a little bit actually. Okay, we're gonna have that now. Uh, and let's test it. So press F9. I was gonna save as tutorial level. I didn't spell level. Uh, hit OK. You can go to Expert and there's all this stuff, but it doesn't matter, really. So just hit OK. Uh, this stuff also doesn't matter. Hit OK. Then it should load your map. For larger maps, it takes longer to compile because it has more stuff in it. This was a quick compile because we only have like five things in it or whatever and it's almost done so you might get this this is fine just uh, hit escape go to options keyboard and mouse and then enable the developer developer console if you don't if you don't have it enabled already and then hit the squiggly line next to escape and then type in no clip and then go to our level and then bam we got a little room so let's see how we can fix that little problem right there I'm gonna lift these guys up a little bit more by a little bit I mean a lot so they're not touching the floor and let's add a light you know let's add a light so in the entities tool, type it, go to down here and type in light. And you can just press it on the ceiling and that's it. Now compile. And it's did not work, but that's fine. So if we go up here, you see we have a light. And we'll fix the floor problem in a different video. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's a nice little room. Um, if you have any problems, leave in the comments. I will reply to them. Probably. Uh, um, <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Like and subscribe, hit the bell, you know. Um... And goodbye.